Hey everybody, and welcome to Delva. Delva is a first-person indie, procedurally generated, roguelike, pixel adventure thing. Well, that's a lot of uh, description to pack into one little game there. But, yeah, that's what it is. Um, got this game a little before Christmas. It came out somewhere last year. I say came out, it's still in early access. I wasn't super impressed with it at first, but it's had a lot done with it since then. And so, um, yeah, I thought it was worth having a go at. Now, bear in mind, this is actually my second attempt at doing a video. Uh, the first one, I'm not entirely sure what was wrong with it, uh, but the it was really janky. The The movement was, was quite horrible. But anyway, I've adjusted some settings with my uh, capture, with the Dextry, and it seems a lot better now. So let's go in uh, and actually start doing something. And I can explain um, as we go. I actually also accidentally hit delete rather than start uh, on my old save. Um, that was kind of stupid. Uh, so we have to start a new one anyway. So yeah, here we are. And uh, this is Delva. You can't jump. You got oh, they were cool. It's see, it's very pixely. Uh, I have to say these graphics are a huge improvement over um, the what was there originally, and there are texture packs which you can uh, get. There's actually a, a Sfax Pure BD Craft one, so I might install that for the future, but I did want to show the game how it how it looks right now, how it's you know supposed to look in a way. Uh, let's get the tattered note, because I know that's there. Rumour says that this place guards the greatest artifact of the old mage empire. It's said to be powerful enough to bend and warp reality. Which is great. The only way I've found to get rid of this out of here is to do that. Because we don't need it anymore, pretty sure. Um, oh, there's another note. I never found this before. I never saw that before. So let's see what we've got here. I think the bard is messing with my stuff. A book I bought with was replaced with another entirely. Like I wouldn't even notice the, the nerve of some people. Even my food was switched out. All of my scones are sweet rolls now. Okay. Um, cool. We'll chuck that on the side of the tent. Don't need it. Oh, this is a lot better. So yeah, uh, we'll just get through this as well. Oh yeah, notes on battle. Right, our best... Uh, I think... Oh god, yeah. It just tells you how to, how to play the game. And honestly, I... I now know how to play the game, so we don't need that. Okay, you've got some people here you can talk to. There's a shop. Uh, somebody to talk to. He doesn't say a whole lot. Another shop and somebody else to talk to. You probably shouldn't stick around too long. Weird stuff happens around these ruins. All those treasure hunters have been going inside, but nobody ever comes back out. They heard rumours about what's supposed to be down there. Couldn't pay me enough to go in. Sure. So that's that. Let's just go in the dungeon. And while we're in the dungeon, um, I can explain why I haven't put a video out for, what, three days? Oh. Oh. Oh, what have we got here? A scroll of greater health. Thank you very much, Lee. Um, you start equipped with a iron dagger. I've got a dark potion, uh, an excellent storm wand, nice, uh, and some leather armor and useless pants. <laughs> Fantastic! So we're gonna find some stuff. We've got some skull. Uh, I don't think bones and skulls and things actually really do much, although they they might. Uh, not that I've found so far, but they they might. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, oh zombie. 
Uh, and something else. Right. Ha ha! Ha ha! Gotcha! Get! Oh! And level up straight away. Fantastic. We'll just, I think we'll just speed up a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. What have we got here? Iron spiked mace, four to six damage. Well, that certainly sounds better than uh, my crappy what two to three. Oh, let's um, walk on the trap. These things are traps, by the way. And uh, what are they? Well, they're better than what I'm wearing. And that's a, a skull cap and a purple potion. Fantastic. Right, let's just. Just go over here quick, and I'm sure you can. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna just equip some of this stuff. Leather pants. Get rid of those ones. Uh, a fine skull cap, and mace. We'll get rid of that. We don't want it anymore. Got two of these dark potions, so I can always just experiment with them if needs be. Uh, and these, I, I don't think I need two skulls, if I, if any at all. So I've got some potions in there. Ale is an edible, and it's really good. And I've got a, so I've got a lot of healing here, potentially, which is good. Right, yeah. So I haven't put anything up for like three days uh, for very good reason. Not because I didn't want to, and truly because I mean I was working for a lot of that time, and I just didn't have the opportunity. Let's try out this one, shall we? Whoa! Yeah, that dude's very dead. Um, in fact, there's not a whole lot of him left. He could not be more dead if I tried. Right, we'll try out this mace as well. Oh, another scroll. So yeah, I did yesterday though have uh, some time off, um, and I thought, oh, I could, oh, a fire wand. We could do, um, do a video, uh, and. I chose a game which I'd seen on Steam and it looked quite interesting. The game is called Drunken Robot Pornography. I mean, and I mean, just the title of it. How could a game like that, or called that, not be great? Well, to be honest, that's quite easy because it's not great. Um, it's described as a first person shooter bullet hell. Um, about fighting giant robots. Now, oh wow, it hit me. Ow! In the, um, you know, in the most technical sense, in the, it's that's true. Uh, worn iron short sword. No, thank you. Uh, that's true. It is in first person. It is a shooter, uh, as in you have a gun and you shoot things. Bear in mind, that's one. You have one gun. One with a couple of upgrades. Right, there's the stairs down, but I want to just check out somewhere else while we're here. Yes, one gun, and it's not a very good gun. It feels like you're shooting nerf darts, and it has a couple upgrades, which are basically shoot faster, shoot more bullets. Um, that's about it. You do fight giant robots, although, again, uh, uh, is there somebody there? Hello? Oh, you bitch. Uh, I think we want some more health. Yeah, we're up to 12 health now. Ooh! Ooh, gold potion. Thank you. Um, yeah. It's the robots there. Basically, collections of polygons that randomly shoot lasers at you. I mean, they technically are giant robots, although you wouldn't necessarily class them as such. And the bullet hell aspect of the game, again, is somewhat misleading. Uh, because bullet hell, in my experience, and I've played a fair few of them, in my experience, generally entails... Uh, some amount of uh, pattern based dodging um, you know where the screen is full of bullets but if you if you do the right thing you can get through it without taking damage uh, not so the case in in this game it's, uh, it's 
the, the, the enemies just seem to randomly fire all over the place. I'm going to see what happens if he goes across this. No, he's not going to do so, bastard. Um, yeah, they just kind of shoot all over the place and you just kind of walk around and, well, quite easily dodge it for the most part. Oh, there's the bat. Right, you little bugger. Oh, don't think you can run from me. Oh. Hello. Yeah, sorry, you're dead. And you. Well, we've got here, broken iron mace, fine iron dagger, four to five. What am I using? Four to six, what I'm using is better. Uh, but we'll take it just in case. Not like I'm carrying a whole much else at the moment. Okay, I don't need to go on that. This trap is probably going to hurt me. Uh, so yeah, junk and robot pornography, a bit of a letdown in all respects actually. Um, my fault for buying it. It's very expensive letdown as well. It's like £12 uh, for what it is. Is not great. Oh, oh, steak. Thank you. Um, however, I thought, you know, well, I've already recorded it. I can still make a video on it, um, put out a video, at least then, uh, you know, people, other people will know that, well, in my opinion, that you shouldn't buy the game because it's not very good, and it's a very expensive, not very good. Um, unfortunately, something about the game, and I can only assume it's the game because it doesn't do it on anything else, but something about the game really didn't like working with DX3. Okay, I got a bow. Not very good bow, but it's a bow. Let's rearrange some of this stuff up here. Oh, look, we're getting a bit full up now. Okay, I've got wands out my wazoo. I can probably start using up some of these. And the potions, we're okay on for now. Let's use up all of these storm wands. Look, I've got them all over the bloody place. Actually, we'll put the bow in there as well. Um, sadly, this game makes you use number keys. It doesn't let you roll through with the the uh, the mouse wheel. Um, yeah, so after recording, I went back out to uh, the desktop. Um, strangely enough, it, it has a bit of a conflict. It, for a start, it wouldn't it wouldn't let uh, DX3 stop recording. It kept telling it was recording when it quite clearly wasn't, um, to the point that I actually closed the X3 and it still said the same thing. Oh god, I'm not wasting a charge on that. Get out of here. Uh, have we not been down here? I'm sure we have. Oh well. Yes, we have. That's where the bat was. Um, and then afterwards... <laughs> I couldn't do anything with the video. It wouldn't recognise it. It was an MP4. No, it was an AVI file, as always. I didn't even get to the point of turning it into an MP4. I wouldn't recognise it as an AVI file. There's nothing I could do with it. It was essentially a complete waste of a good half an hour that way. We haven't been that way. Uh, so, yeah. By the time I, I'd done that, we went up there, didn't we? Oh, ow! Get out of it! Bitch! Yeah. Uh, yeah, so by the time I got, uh, did that, that's another fine iron dagger. Four to five. Uh, it was way too late to actually do another video, and there's nothing I could do with the footage I had. Oh, fine leather pants. Well, I think we'll have those, as they're better than normal leather pants. Goodbye, normal leather pants. Uh, so, yeah, that's why. That's why I didn't uh, uh, put up a video yesterday, and why I haven't put one up for three three days. Which is pretty damn bad, I've got to say. What is this little line that appears? Can you see this on the right-hand side of the screen? I don't know if that's... What that is. I think it's just a glitch with the the visuals. Because hey, this game is in early access. It's still a beta. Um, so you've got to expect it not to be wholly polished. Um, but that's fine. You know, I am expecting that. I do appreciate that. Okay, we've done this floor. That was everything. I think we go down now. Uh, or at least we'll get to the end. Uh, and so you've seen Delver for a bit. I think this is quite a cool little game, actually. I'm not walking on the trap. Uh, it's, it's pretty good and it's pretty cheap. And while I don't know that I'm going to 
do a f we already looked behind there. Well, I don't know that we're going to do a full series on it. Um, I I'll probably end up doing a couple more episodes because this is this is really quite cool, and I do enjoy these. I mean, it's just me, isn't it? Uh, everything that's the, if you look at the stuff I've already done on the channel, it's just so the things that I like pixel indie. RPG, first person, roguelike or roguelite anyway, uh, you know, procedurally generated permadeath, random, it's just everything I hoped for, for I hope for from games and um, so far I've not been disappointed. So we'll just jump down the ladder and we're starting Dungeon 2. Uh, of course we're not going to do that right now, I'm actually going to finish up this video. It was a nice little intro to the game, and as this is my second time recording it, I actually do want to process this video and get on with something else. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoy this, and please if you do, hit that like and uh, drop a comment and say, because uh, and I'm always looking for new games to play, um, and it's always, you know, I'm interested in what what people enjoy and like to see rather than just necessarily what I want to play because well I can just play games for the hell of it at any time um, but there's no point me doing a video on it if nobody enjoys it so I'll stick this out tonight and see how it goes and I'll probably do at least one or two more videos on this just uh, just to see how it plays out because you can't always tell from a first video this has only been 15 minutes or so Anyway, thank you everybody, I will see you next time, goodbye.